Grade 3 math, number 50, multiplying by 11. When you multiply 11, it is very easy to do because whatever number, except 0, of course, because anything you multiply by 0 is going to be 0, but whatever number you're multiplying by 11, you just double it. So 1 times 11 becomes a 1 and a 1. 11 times 2 becomes a 2 and a 2. See how it doubles? When you get to 11 times 10, I have a trick for you. And I'll show you that in a minute. What I'm going to show you right now is multiplying this way. Normally, you've seen multiplying this way, but I'm going to show you this way. When you see them stacked like this, what you do is you multiply the ones column, 6 times 1, and you get 6. And you can see I multiplied the blue one, and that's why that answer is blue. Then 6 times 1 over here is 6, so our answer is 66, which we know from up here that any number you multiply it by is going to be that number two times, right? A 6 will be 66. Same thing if we go this way. We go up here and multiply 4 times 1, and we put our 4, and then we come over here and multiply 4 times 1 this way and put our answer there. So now I'm going to show you something that is going to look a little confusing, but I want you to just relax, take a deep breath, and open your mind up to something very, very cool. So on this side, you can see we have 24 times 11 right here. See that? And I did it the stacked way. 24 times 11. We're going to multiply the 1 times the 4, right here, and we get 4. Then we multiply the 1 times the 2, and we get the 2. These are in the 1's place, and that's why I lined them up down here in the 1's place. See how they all line up in the 1's place there? The 2 and the 4 are, like, pushed that way. Well, when we go to multiply this one, because we did this one, we went here and here. Now it's this one's turn to go here and here. Because this is in the tens place, we're going to start putting the answer in the tens place, and there is nothing here, okay? Usually what teachers tell kids to do is they tell them to put a zero there as a placeholder. So now let's try it. So we go 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 2 is this 2, now we're going to do it this way. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 2 is 2. Now they're all stacked, and we add them. 4 plus 0 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 2 drops down, and our answer is 264. But let me show you a trick. You have your 2 and your 4, and you open them up so there's an empty space in the middle. And you add the 2 and the 4. 2 plus 4 is 6, and you put that 6 in the center space. Look, 264, 264. So here I did it again with 71 times 11. 71 times 11. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 7 is 7. Put our placeholder. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 7 is 7. Then we add them all up. 1 plus 0 is 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, and we drop down the 7, 781. Let's try it the trick, tricky way. We'll open our 7 and our 1 up, so we have room in the middle, and we add 7 plus 1, which is 8. We put the 8 in the center. Look, 781. We're going to do it a couple more times, and I think you should have it. 86 times 11. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 8 is 8. Now it's this one's turn. We've got our placeholder here. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 8 is 8. Now we need to add them. 6 and 0 is 6, 8 and 6 is 14. Carry the 1, put the 4 down. 8 plus 1 is 9, 946. Let's try it the tricky way. Now we've got two numbers in the middle. 8 plus 6 is 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to group that 1 with that 8 and put the 4, 6. So the 8 and the 1 becomes a 9. See? Do you 
You see how I did that? Because there were two digits, we couldn't put the 14 in the center. On these, we were just adding like a one digit number, like a seven and a one is an eight, and that fit right in the middle. But when you have a two digit number, whatever this number is here has to be grouped with the tens, and then that's the center one, and that one comes down. See? Let's try it again. 98 times 11. One times eight is eight, one times nine is nine. We put our placeholder here. One times eight is eight, one times nine is nine. Now we need to add them. Eight plus zero is eight. Nine plus eight is 17. We carry the one and put the seven down. Nine and one is 10. Now what are we gonna do? Well, look. Nine plus eight is 17. We've opened up our nine and our eight. See, we got our little 17 here. We're gonna group the nine and the one together and then the seven and the eight are gonna come down. The nine and the one becomes a 10, 1,078. So it works even if this becomes a 10. These times tables are very easy to memorize because you just double the number. Remember how we did the stacked way and how it took its turn? Remember how we put the placeholder there? But also remember my trick. Show this video to your friends. Maybe you could do this in your head and do mental math and surprise people. Say, give me any number times 11 and I'll do it. You're doing a good job. Keep trying to memorize your times tables and I'll see you next time.